What's going on, guys? This is Cam from SolveX Media, and in today's video, I'm going to be tearing apart the website of Clean Eats Kitchen, a company that specializes in healthy food deliveries. Now, this is an amazing industry to be in, but it's very, very difficult because customer acquisition costs end up not being profitable for at least six to eight months from what we've seen and heard. Meaning, if you are not profitable in the front end and you don't have a huge cash burn flexibility, well, you are at a severe disadvantage, and it's going to make it very difficult for you to grow at radical rates because customer acquisition is just not profitable in the front end. So in today's video, I'm going to break down a few things these guys can do to maximize the value of their pre-existing traffic so they can go out um, in the marketplace and spend dramatically more when it comes to customer acquisition and just see uh, front end profitability increase, which is very, 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 very important, yet an area uh, a lot of companies neglect. And I mean, this is... <laughs> The fault of a lot of VCs and just the funding that's taking place in today's environment is crazy. A lot of companies that don't deserve funding are getting funding. So customer acquisition and growth becomes just a variable of spend. So let's look into what these guys are doing and what they can do better. So first things first, when you come to this website, you're going to see the main header navigation. It simply says new minimum order size. This is great for hot traffic, people who've already purchased, but for individuals who don't know who you are, what you do, which is around 85% of your traffic. It's very important that maybe you change the messaging here to six to six, eight, 12 meals available. Um, and that way people know, okay, these are the quantity sizes I can choose from. So that would be that uh, having a search bar is very important, but I would sort of just bring this down and remove all of this, include the cart. This is just taking up a lot of valuable real estate because on mobile, if you see something like this, it's, it's really just gonna ruin the user experience and it's gonna take up a very minimal. Okay, now here I've mentioned in other videos, there is no point of having a second, third, fourth, fifth slide. Your main banner sees 80% of the traffic. So just focus on that and that only. Your messaging here is very vague, okay? Uh, how I would change it is maybe say healthy eating made easy, fresh, ready made meals delivered to your door. Something like that would be much stronger if you want to demyth some of the pain points or concerns one has is just addressing some of their nutrition goals. We serve individuals who are looking to increase their body mass, or right? we serve individuals who are looking uh, to lose calories. So that way they know, okay, you have something for everyone as opposed to just addressing one pain point and one pain point only, although they haven't even done that uh, within this header. So that would be that. Now, when it comes to PR, obviously incorporate a quote from each of these guys so people know, okay, these are the points that set some apart. Now, I hate when people show, okay, this is step one, this is step two, this is step three, and they don't get specific. This would be amazing if they were specific. Now, imagine they say, choose your meals, a new meal of 30 plus, uh, dietitian design options every week, as opposed to saying like rotating meal, you're getting specific by saying, okay, you got 30 options. Um, these are dietitian approved or designed, and then they're going to be coming and being updated every single week. So that would be that. And then instead of saying deliver to you, cause that is just <laughs> assumed, maybe say something like cook to perfection, right? Our gourmet chefs do the prep. So you can do you heat and eat yeah i mean this this line is good because you're you're giving people that end desired benefit where which is simply like just heat eat and enjoy i would simply as opposed to saying our fully cooked meals just need to be warmed in the microwave which literally is just re-emphasizing the main header i would say no prep no mess our meals arrive ready to heat and eat in minutes bam so that would be that um I, I wouldn't have the testimonials front and center because testimonials are just basically reconfirming why people should do business with you i don't think people are educated enough to validate why they should do business with you because you've shown them how that process looks like and you've simplified it which is great but you haven't told them why you guys because remember everyone is thinking is there a better option that can better serve my needs so maybe adding three points um just above this fresh never frozen meals sh two chef crafted meals and then three designed by dietitians so that would be super powerful stuff because it's adding credibility but it's also showing people that now we are the most viable solution within the space and that's why you should take action 
right? And then maybe you show your testimonials, which is great. But what they've really failed to do, and this bothers me a lot, it bothers me a lot because I know it's killing, killing their conversions, is they're not asking people, what is your end objective? So I can create a tailored package towards your pain points, your desires, your goals, because once again, it's about them. So what kind of recipes do you like? Uh, mostly meat, family friendly, vegetarian, quick and easy, high protein, flexitarian. There's so many things they could do differently. So once people do get to that next step, it's like you understand them, you get them. So this is why I'm suggesting why I'm suggesting as opposed to sort of just saying, choose what you want, because this data can be used in the future. So when you remarket to them, you know, okay, this guy is a, he's a vegetarian, you're not going to show him beef ads, you know, so it's very important that you constantly collect data. And when you look at your website, you look at your site map, where people land is an indication of where they're at in the buying process. But more importantly, it actually shows their buyer persona in much further detail. So here, another valuable piece of real estate that they're misusing, you can simply say something like, what are your goals? Lose weight, gain weight, gain protein, eat healthier. Okay, so when they do speak to a health expert, which is this individual, and once again, they don't do a good job here. It's like, look, maybe have a picture of a dietitian, and then put Roger M, dietitian, or whatever they are addressed by professionally, and then have a message that's very personalized. Oh, so I see you're in the business of looking to gain weight. Here are a few options we have available. Now, are there any other concerns you have with this meal recommendation I'm making for you? Now you're like, okay, these, this guy's really understanding me. He's tailoring this conversation to me as opposed to you trying to pull all that information from. Just always, always ask yourself when designing a particular element on your website, how can I reduce the friction? How can I reduce how much brain calories it's going to consume for that person to either understand or take action on that particular element and, and that process? So that would be that. So just adding on to what these guys got going on, um, blogs are great uh, because you're you're going to be educating that end user and showing that you guys are an authority figure and you know what you're curating in terms of a product is actually based off educational information, which is very very uh, huge in the space. Uh, I like the section. Obviously, I don't like the copy. Uh, you are basically saying we have a social cause we live by and that process just betters us as a company so that in itself is phenomenal but i would simply um below this section add a newsletter and say subscribe for more tips on living well and then maybe give a voucher 20 dollars off because now once you get that email once you get that email collected you can constantly remarket to those individuals because the buying process when it comes to subscription businesses is a little more sophisticated but once you can get them in you got them for a lifetime assuming you have a great product so uh that is really my assessment of what these got these guys got going on uh, but i think the biggest thing is they they've really just struggled by to segment their product offerings in a way that's specific to individuals because if you had a collection where you're like we have over 35 fresh recipes every single week and then you break it down into vegetarian you break it down into family friendly you break it down into maybe calorie smart that is going to give uh, people a lot more flexibility to find something that's specific to them and them only okay so i think based off what i've seen on this particular website a fair rating would be six out of ten they do a great job demonstrating that you know this is something that can solve your problem i don't have questions in regards to that but i just don't feel like they've done a good job when it comes to creating something that's tailored to me and me only because in this space creating that one-to-one -one connection is more important than ever and if someone feels like you understand their goals, their ambitions, where they want to get to, and you can tell that transformational story and show them that end desired outcome, and this is going to take more than your website, your marketing collateral needs to be consistent and congruent throughout. But if you can tell that transformational story, you will have a customer for a lifetime. But this website currently 
I would rank it at a six out of 10 because it doesn't tell that transformational story. Although it gives me a good reason to believe these guys are a viable option, but it would have to take a lot more for me to convert. And that's why I'm giving them the rating they're currently getting. If I saw a few ads from these guys, if I saw a few emails, I would have converted. But if they're looking for that front end conversion, that first visit conversion, they need to do a lot more. That's it for me, guys. Cam from SolveX Media. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you looking through what my suggestions for this company is. Now, if you're looking for help, you want an audit on your website, you want a website redesign, you want something that converts like crazy, do reach out and we can see how we could be of value. Appreciate your time and I'll see you on the next one.